you know, in my life, I've experienced a lot of craziness, and I'm, I'm sure you have too. But when I look at the world, I see that this is not just by happenstance. I, when I think about creation, I think about a creator. And so I, I want you to know that where it seems like craziness is going around, there, God has a design. And what it was, was for us to be in a relationship with him. But what happened is we question God and we question his design. And that leads to brokenness. I know I don't have to spend a lot of time in brokenness um, to tell you what that is because I know that you've experienced that too. But how we get to brokenness is this idea of going away from what God desires for us. And, and this is from a biblical perspective. This is called sin. This is doing anything outside of what God wants for us. And we know what that's like on the inside. We know, hey, we shouldn't yell at people. We shouldn't... Um, we, we shouldn't do crazy things. We, we shouldn't cheat on our spouse. We shouldn't cuss all the time at people and tell people how crazy and dumb they are. That's not what we should do. But that's, as people, that's typically what we do because we rebel against God, go against what God has, and go against His design. That leads to brokenness, which what, what happens is then we try to find purpose in all kinds of things. For me, it was alcohol and it, it was um, different relationships and you know what I even sought purpose in this little thing um, called green paper and it's money but then brokenness always leads back to brokenness but life was more than brokenness and life is more than brokenness and what happened is we have a God that just doesn't tell us what to do he came to earth and his name is Jesus and he came to earth and he lived a life to show us how to live show us what to do and, and then not only that he died on the cross for the penalty that you and I deserve the Bible simply says this for the wages of sin is death but the gift of of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus and so there's the good news and so what we have to do is we have to transition from brokenness to the good news and what that means is to turn away from what we think and to say yes to Jesus and and to live like he lived and what that also means is you know just simply hearing the good news or hearing the gospel is not enough we have to believe it and this belief is not this cognitive belief but it's this action and so at, from there after we believe the good news and we're being obedient to Jesus what we do we recover and pursue God's design and then you see beauty and chaos I think about my life and all the hurt and pain the physical and sexual abuse that I've been through as as crazy that that is I know that there's many people out there who would know who would love to hear how other people survived those types of things and so now it's my job to recover and pursue God's design and to go and share this good news with many people